Okay, we're going to start by, uh, when you open it, you'll find these three things on the memory stick. You want to double click on I and install, or install, whatever it is. Okay, this bit takes a while, but I've fast forwarded it, so yours probably will take a while. Uh, five minutes tops. Okay, once you've done this, you just got to click next, and then I agree, and then click in next again, and then select just me, click next, and then next again to start the installation. Now you're just going to wait, this also takes about five minutes, but um, I've fast forwarded it again. This is the easy bit, hard bit still to come. Okay, this yeah, this take about five minutes once it's done. Um, well, you see in a sec. Okay, once it, at that point there where the screen just went black, your computer will say, would you like to continue, just click OK. Yeah, this bit takes a while, so. Right, now just click close to exit. And now, Sibelius will be on your desktop. But that's not it yet. Okay, right, what you need to do is click start, and then go to my computer. Right. Uh, your hard drive, which will be sys dot c dot dot system c. Right, go down the list until you find program files. Double click on program files. Go down this next list until you find Sibelius software. Double click that. In there, there's another folder called Sibelius 5. Double click that. And now go down this next list until you find one that just says Sibelius so, yeah, Sibelius. right click it select properties um, now you want to click compatibility yeah just click compatibility um, get down to the bottom where it says run this program as administrator and take that box now you just got to click apply select ok Okay, and now you can close all that. Okay, so now just double click on Sibelius and it should load up a new box that says, Do you have this already? You want to click no because you don't already have it. Right now, you need to go back to the memory stick, click on the one that is called Blessing. We'll double click it. Okay, now you just want to minimize that. Uh, okay, so you want to click generate twice or three times or something just so it generates a random number. Now you're going to copy that serial number into the other box where it says oh, please enter your serial number. Then click OK. Right, now, whatever happens, you have to click by fax, phone, or email. You cannot click over the internet, otherwise it will not work. Right now, you want to copy your computer number. So copy that. Put it back over into the other box. And type it in where it says computer number. Paste it in, and then at the bottom, click generate. Right now, that bottom number, you either want to just copy it in 
paste in whatever. Um, so put in any name, put anything you want. Any, any whatever. Just put anything for your organisation. I put school. And then you see the registration number that we've made, right? You're gonna type that into the bottom bit where it says registration number. Yeah, just type that in. You can copy and paste it if you want. It's up to you. Okay, and then you just gotta click finish. And there you have it. Just click OK for that. Uh, click X on the key gen, click OK, and now Sibelius can be used whenever you want to use it. It's ready now, just double click it. Okay, that's it.